Welcome back to AM2R, check this out. Shy Spark right here. Yeah! Awesome. That's how you get that. I didn't want to get that before because there was lava around which would have made it slightly more dangerous, but now we got it. Another missile tank in the bag. We're at 175, that's pretty dang good. And now, since we defeated all the Metroids in the tower area last time, ah, uh, power bombs. We can finally continue to move deeper. Finding more Metroids, we've got 22 left in the whole world. Uh, that's probably going to take a while. We'll see. Black Rocks this time. Pretty. Oh. Well, that's fine. Uh, we can't get out that way, but we can always go around. Or not, because we have an impenetrable bubble thing. That's... That's fine. Let's check out what this place is. There are a lot of things that I haven't read. I should probably read those. Oh, okay, we didn't actually get a thing for what this place is. But look, it's a Zeta Metroid. Wow. Amazing. Beginning of its adulthood. Let's go to a Zeta Metroid Bar Mitzvah. So we've got water. And if you remember how annoying water was in the Hydro Station, you're gonna hate it even more here. Because it's the worst. Movement inhibition. The distribution center. Okay. So I believe this is this section of the game is completely new to AM2R and wasn't actually in Metroid 2. But it's also really, really cool. So uh I'm fine with that. Oh no, this is the worst. We can move around a little better with a morph ball underwater, but it's still cumbersome. Let's go this way. I don't actually remember this part of the game very well, so I'm not going to be able to speed through it like I was doing with the earlier ones, but we'll see what we can do. Can I break these? Uh, not without speed boosting. Speed boosting underwater, that's unheard of. Which means we're either going to have to drain the water in here or find a way to speed boost underwater. One of the two. In the meantime, we'll keep running in slow motion in order to get through these tiny little rooms. Ugh, this is so annoying. The music's nice, though. Oh, another one of these. Okay, cool. I went the wrong way. Good to know. Let's slowly climb back up, I suppose. Ugh. This is the reason why people don't like water levels in video games. This right here is the epitome. Okay, so I guess the only other way to go was up those little chains of platforms. Look at these cool rune-looking things. I don't think they mean anything, but maybe they do. Who knows? Ow. Stop this rudeness. Why are you allowed to move freely underwater and I'm not? That's not fair. Samus, learn to swim. Okay, we're almost out. We're almost out of the water. Please. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Freedom. Now, instead of having to deal with fish, we deal with spiky little things. Spiky ball things that go around real fast. That's their official name, actually. That's that's their canonical name. Spiky little ball things that go around real fast? Yeah. It's true. Hmm, what are these things? Let's shoot them and find out. Oh, no. <laughs> Moral of the story is, don't shoot these guys. Or, if you do, shoot them from a place where you're pretty safe. Because they explode into bullet hell nightmares. Isn't that like? Isn't that lucky? I think I was about to say, isn't that nice and isn't that lucky, but I accidentally said, isn't that lice? So that's lice, I suppose. Anyway, we can't get through there because this door is gray, and as everyone knows, gray things don't work. That's racist. Oh man, there are a lot of these guys. It's best just to kind of find a safe spot and shoot them from afar. Or shoot them from Jafar, from Aladdin. I'm not sure how you'd do that, but it's probably a good strategy. Excuse me, sir. Ah, shoot. Eh. It is possible to dodge their ball things, but it's not easy. It's better to do it in Morphal, though. It's just more 
It's just bullet heli. That's the word. Also, shoot, I shouldn't have broke that thing before <laughs> shooting this guy. And yeah, they cause chain reactions with each other. So that's fun, right? Who doesn't love chain reaction bullet hell enemies? What is this? What is this? Madness. Let's just activate these guys from... yeah. Can't get me when I'm behind this impenetrable barrier. This impenetrable barrier that I can destroy by pressing the B button. Or technically the X button. On the keyboard. Wow. Ooh, this is a pretty room. This is a conveniently shaped slot. Yay, we did it! It's a power distribution center. Awesome. So they put power into blue and yellow balls, and they send it all over the place. And when I say all over the place, I mean really all over the place, as in to previous areas that we've been to. So now, if we go back to those areas, we can solve some puzzles that we couldn't solve before. It's really cool. I'm not going to go back there. Damn it. I'm not going to go back there just yet because we've still got some stuff to do. Oh, yeah. If you, Why did I do that? Also, where's the... Oh, I know what it is. Um, yeah, if you destroy those bullet hell enemies with the uh, morph ball... Or morph ball? What am I talking about? With the speed boost. We're going to want to come back here then they don't do their special blow-up attack and they just die. It's really convenient. Alright, let's go. Now that we've activated the power, things should start to open up a little bit. And most of the puzzles are going to involve getting the balls into these little receptacle things which will power the doors. And the good news is, the puzzles don't reset once you finish them, so they can stay powered on as long as you like. Shit language. I apologize. Um, also good news is that you don't have to restart the puzzle every time if you accidentally blow up the power source or something. You just gotta play around with it long enough until things blow up. Also, that's a really good strategy. We can dispatch these guys. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. It's just a husk now. Oh, come on. Get down here. Yeah! Alright. So that opens up the way back through there for us. When we inevitably need to go back. And until then, we can continue moving forward. Also, when you're... Aw, oh, dang it! You. Get out of here. Not allowed. Illegal. Please leave. Rude. I'm actually not sure what happens if you shoot these. Let's find out. Does it do anything to the Metroid? No. It just does something to me. Result. Don't shoot those. Ow. Holy crap, what happened? I'm so confused. Okay, this is fine. We got him. Cool, that's another Metroid down. Uh, one thing I'd like to talk about is how the music subtly changes during each of the Metroid fights. Uh, that is, depending on what kind of Metroid you're facing, you get a slightly different song. I think that's a really cool touch. Also, let's go on a ride. Whee. Wow, look how far we went. Three whole rooms. Look, now we get to go back! Isn't this exciting? Wasn't that a worthwhile use of our time? I think so. Oh, crap. This is dangerous games. Excuse me, gentlemen. You know, it's probably just a good idea to run through here without bothering shooting anything on the off chance that you shoot something you don't want to shoot. Oh, come on. Alright, well, we're gonna come back there later, I suppose. Oh, no. Let's do that. Oh, it didn't even work. First get you out of there, and then check this out. Trick shot! Yeah! 
Good stuff. My first playthrough of this, I didn't know that you could disable those guys using the electricity thing, so I just kind of blew them up every time I entered a room and took a bunch of damage. It was great. Hmm. This is unusual. Why was there a red door protecting this save room? Okay, so we have a choice. We can go down the left path or the right path. Let's go left, because left is fun. It's the hand of the devil. And we'll come back to that transporter thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this room? Oh my god. There are too many. Well, this is actually going to be great for dealing with that 22 Metroid count we saw earlier, but holy crap. They were having a party in here. They are having a little get-together. A little shindig. Alright. It's now much more manageable. We've dealt with most of them. Alright, and just you. Whew. Damn. That was a lot of guys. I was not, I, I was not expecting that many guys. Well, that brings our Metroid count in this area down to two. So that's pretty cool. And 16 overall. Good progress. Wow, that was crazy. Alright, what's in here? Oh, it's that. Alright. Well, we'll come back later, I suppose. Where did that even take us? Oh, all the way over there. That's cool. Okay, now, what's down here? Can't go that way, so I guess we know where we're going. Uh, we've got this, which you can bounce around using Morph Ball Bombs as such. Uh, there's something going on. Shoot. Get out the way. Okay, we can't go in there, so we're going to have to turn on the power. Uh, let's... Ouch. Let's bounce you through... Let's bounce you through there. Good, good. And hopefully over here there will be a thing. Look at me doing my walk. This is my fancy walk. This is my formal walk. That's what I do when, I, when I'm when i in formal company. I walk out of them like, Hello, sirs and madams. I'm here to be formal. That's my formal walk. It really charms the pants off of people. Can confirm. Okay, so doing that activates this door. Oh, okay, I guess we're going down. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> they really just throw you into that, don't they? I completely forgot about that. Okay. Alright, you can activate, that's fine. I'll be safe in my little nook. In my cranny. What if cranny was short for grandmother? Wouldn't that be something? Okay. Red door. Does that mean there's an item behind it? I hope so. It does, wow. <gasps> yes! Yes! This is my favorite item in the game because it makes you pretty much unstoppable. Now, if you jump into enemies, they die. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> we can just clear out this whole room full of guys. Just destroy everything. Yes! Oh, this is great. Make our way up through here. A surprising amount of stuff in this game is screw attack breakable. So we're gonna have some fun with this thing. Can we go that way? I don't think so. But we can go back to some previous areas that required the screw attack and make short work of them. Alright, let's see. Where are we gonna go? Uh, we can go to the left and up. Let's do it. Alright, you do your thing. Explode. I don't even care. I've got the double barrier protecting me. It's the latest in double barrier technology. There's two barriers. Whoa! 
It's actually just really fun to just clear out entire rooms like this. Yeah. Alright. Aha. Okay, so this room is a very important room. As you can see, it's purple. That means it's important. What we want to do is head into one of these transporters. Let's see where it takes us. Ooh. Okay. So this, I believe, is actually the transporter we wanted to go into, like the one that's required for advancing the plot. So that's fine. We can do that first. And we've got these, like, weird energy fields that disable our gun. That's not very nice, but you know, you make do. Oh, jeez. Can't even open doors while you're standing in these energy fields. In these mysterious blue hexagon things. They're like kind of hexagons, but also not really because they're tilted. I don't know. Hexagons are allowed to be tilted, but not when they're pixel art. Also, I missed an item. Let's go get an item. Let's see, what is the best way to get an item that's here? Let's try a power bomb. See what that does for us. Oh, hey. Cool. I guess that did it. Uh, let's go. Can't go up. Missiles don't work. So let's. Oh, you know what? This is what we're supposed to do. Oh, no, we can't do that. Never mind. Okay. Gotta be able to go somewhere. Oh, here we go. That's the ticket. Really? Really? You doing this? What is... Do we have to... Let's just... Uh? Nope. Okay. Let's just power bomb it then. Oh, we have to go up there. Okay. Yay, skipping puzzles! <gasps> yes! Okay. Wow, we're making a lot of progress here. Oh yeah. Getting purple. Liquid friction eliminated. This means that water is no longer a thing. Whenever we enter water, we can do whatever we want to. It also means we can walk through these blue things, but that doesn't really matter because these blue things aren't really that common. But this is awesome news. Gravity suit, really good stuff. Um, it also means that this is probably a good time to end this episode, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.